over the past few years selling airsoft equipment, I've noticed a trend that a lot of our regular customers are also really big video gamers. And although personally I'm not really big into the video game thing myself, I've noticed that most of those people fall into one of two categories. Either number one, you're one of those guys that goes out and gets a video game, takes it home, learns it, reads the instructions, and naturally develops skills at that particular video game. Or number two, you're one of those guys that goes out, gets a video game, takes it home and immediately downloads all the cheats that you can find so that you can appear to actually know what you're doing even though you don't know the first thing about that particular game. That also applies to the airsoft world where you get a lot of guys that actually want to go out and naturally develop skills with tactics and that sort of thing. And then you also get the other guys that want to go out there and just blast out the most amount of BBs per second that they can. And for those people we offer the M249 saw. The M249 light machine gun, or SAW as it's sometimes referred to, was originally produced by the Fabrique Nationale Corporation in Belgium under the name of the Mini-Me. It was first introduced to the United States military in 1984 under the designation SAW, or Squad Automatic Weapon, and in later years it's been referred to under the light machine gun, or LMG designation. The gun fires a 5.56 NATO round, which is the same round used by the M16, and sometimes confused with the M240 Bravo, which is a much larger 7.62 version of the same gun. The M249 is a gas-operated, air-cooled, fully automatic machine gun that fires either from linked ammunition or from standard Stanag mags like the ones in the M16 and the M4. The M249 has been in every major conflict since Panama in 1989. Up first is the full-size M249 Mark II saw. This puppy weighs in at around 15 pounds empty, so you want to be a pretty big guy if you're going to be handling this thing on the battlefield. This comes standard with a 2400 round electric box magazine that has its own internal batteries that automatically winds itself as you're shooting it. This is the full stock version and one of the nice things about that is you've got a lot more room to put a battery in this thing so you can put in much larger batteries if you want to increase your rate of fire on this particular gun. It also has adjustable rear sights which are adjustable for both windage and elevation. The saw comes standard with a folding bipod which attaches to the front of the gas tube underneath the barrel. You can also fold it down and put it inside of the front hand grip for easy storage. It also comes standard with a carry handle which attaches to the rear of the barrel pretty close to the breech. This makes it easy to pick up the gun and run with it when you're moving from one position to another on the battlefield. Some of the things I really like about this gun is it has an easily removable barrel. You just basically operate this little lever here and the entire barrel can be removed from the gun for easy clearing if you get a jam. The other thing I like is that it has a quick change system for putting different springs in this gun. You can just basically open up the gun here and you can easily remove the spring and change the spring if you're playing at different ranges that have different limitations on your velocity so you don't have to completely disassemble the entire gearbox in order to change your spring on this particular gun. You probably notice this is not the standard paint scheme for an M249 saw. This is a woodland camo paint scheme we did here at the store, which is available to anybody that wants to bring their gun in and have it painted here. And we can do just about any paint scheme that you like. Just bring us an example of what you want and we'll get you a quote on it. The other non-standard item is the full metal handguard on the top, which gives you the three rails for adding additional optics, flashlights, and lasers. This gun gives you an average velocity of around 350 feet per second. That's with a .25 BB. But like I mentioned earlier, with the quick change spring system in here, you can easily up that to whatever velocity you want and not have to tear the gun apart. This also gives you about 860 rounds per minute with a standard 8.4 volt battery, which like I said also, you can put in a larger battery because it has the full stock. So you could easily put in an 11.1 LiPo or something like that and up your rounds per minute to whatever you want. If you want something a little more compact, we have the M249 Paratrooper, which is basically a cut down version of the Mark II saw. Now this may be a little smaller, but it is just as heavy as the Mark II and it weighs in at around 15 pounds. This gun comes standard with the auto winding magazine, which obviously we don't have on this particular gun. But in this case, we put in an M4 magazine to show you that it takes either magazine depending on what your situation is. Now because this is a folding stock version, the battery is actually located inside of the handguard, so you can't put in as large of a battery on this particular gun as you can on the full size Mark II. This also comes standard with the adjustable rear sights, but in addition to that it gives you a full Picatinny rail on the top of the receiver for adding optics and scopes. 
The gun comes with the same features as the Mark II in the way of it has the folding bipod on the front of it and it also has the carry handle for getting around. The major difference is the folding stock which allows you to deploy this thing and use it like a full stock version but it allows you to also fold it up for getting around tight spaces. Now there are some features on these guns that are there purely for cosmetic reasons like it does have the cocking handle which obviously in an airsoft gun does absolutely nothing. It also has the adjustable regulator on the front of the barrel which because it's an airsoft gun also does nothing but they are there for looks to make it as realistic as possible. Because this is such a large airsoft gun, I get a lot of misnomers out there of people thinking that this is a more powerful airsoft gun than anything else that's out there, which is not true. Airsoft guns all basically give you the same velocity, so you're going to get the same kind of performance that you would get with an M16 or an AK or even an MP5 for that matter. What it does give you is the ability to put on a much larger magazine so that you can pump out a lot of BBs and not have to worry about reloading. But basically you could get that same kind of system on an M4 with a high capacity magazine so you can get the same kind of performance with this without all the weight of the saw. So there's pretty much the cheat factor with these guns where you can be one of those guys out there that just blasts away all day and looks like he knows what he's doing but you're really, you know, you're just stuck in one place and you're just putting out a lot of BBs and making a lot of noise. What this does actually give you is a huge intimidation factor compared to any other gun that's out there. You're definitely going to scare the crap out of anybody when they see you get out of the car with this gun. The biggest problem that I see with most people that bring these in for consignment is eventually it occurs to them how heavy this thing is to be running around on the battlefield and their love affair with the saw doesn't really last that long. So if you want to check one of these out for yourself, feel free to stop in here at the showroom. We'd be glad to let you try it out. You can do a little exercise with these things. They make great dumbbells for that matter. Or if you have any questions, just give us a call and we'll be glad to answer your questions. So until then, we'll see you the next time.